This is Al Brooks, and this is my price action trading course. The current module is about triangles. Here's a list of common reversal patterns, and I'm going through modules treating each of the reversal patterns one by one, and this current module is about triangles. What is a triangle? For me, it's any sideways move with three pushes up or down. Sometimes it has both three pushes up and three pushes down. It's a type of channel. You can draw a line above and a line below. Triangles can be contracting, they can be expanding, they can be ascending, they can be descending, and if they're sloped sufficiently, traders usually call them wedges instead of triangles. Triangles are a type of uh, tight trading range, a trading range where the high to uh, the top to the bottom of the range is very tight and there are multiple reversals in it. And like all trading ranges, a triangle is a magnet. So they're very often final flags. In other words, the breakout usually fails within five or ten bars. The breakout in either direction. The market usually comes back to test the triangle and uh, sometimes um, even reverses. Slightly a great, um, greater probability of uh, a with trend breakout. So if you have a triangle and a bull trend, um, a triangle is a pretty neutral pattern, a breakout mode pattern, but slightly greater chance of it having a bull breakout. But like I said right here, um, it can end up being the final flag of the bull trend and come back into the bull trend, come back into the triangle and continue down further leading to a reversal. Again, any trading range, such as a triangle, is a magnet, so breakouts usually fail and come back to test the trading range, and they're often the final flag of trends. Triangles can be big, they can be small, they can be as small as two inside bars, an II pattern um, and III pattern. Both of those should be thought of as triangles, and if you look on a small enough time frame chart, you'll usually discover that they are small triangles. Okay, as soon as you see three pushes up or down, it's a triangle. One push up, two pushes up, three pushes up, it's a triangle. And yes, it's occurring in a bull trend, but the breakout can be in either direction. Here we got a small upside breakout of the channel. Remember, a triangle is a channel, and then a reversal down. So traders will see this upside breakout and they'll see the failure and they'll look to short below it even though we're in a bull trend. So here we have a triangle top, a triangle acting as a reversal pattern. The market went down for about 10 bars and then came back up in a test of the triangle. Most triangle breakouts fail and come back to test the uh, triangle within about uh, 5 or 10 bars. <coughs> Again, any three push pattern is a triangle. The market went up on bar one, it went down and up on bar two, so a second push up, and then a third push up uh, starting with this bar and ending up here. So that's a small triangle and a potential reversal pattern. It had a downside breakout um, far enough down for at least a scalp. I probably would not short that given how strong this bull trend was. I would only look to buy. Here are three more pushes. Uh, up here, one, and then down, up here, two, and then down, and up here, three. And three broke above the um, top of the trend channel line, so um, it could lead to a reversal down. This is also a small lower high um, major trend reversal following a bigger um, higher high major trend reversal. Bull trend, uh, here's a trend line, trend line break, test of the moving average, higher high, major trend reversal, short here, and then a lower high, and the lower high came in the form of a small double top. So that's a reasonable swing short. A lot of times these small double tops look very uh, unimportant when they're coming, but if you're aware of the possibility that they are a lower high major trend reversal after a higher high major trend reversal, uh, you should take the short uh, looking for a swing down. Even if the probability is only uh, 40%, the reward is at least twice the size of the risk. And that gives it a favorable trader's equation. 
here we have a bear trend and then three pushes down and three pushes down means it's a triangle there are also three pushes up so you can call it a triangle based on this third push up or um, more convincingly a better shaped triangle um, after this third push down did not quite reach the uh, bottom of the uh, channel uh, below and that doesn't matter it's still reversed up and um, I think it's a reasonable uh, reversal pattern again bear trend trend line break lots of sideways price action so this is a higher low major trend reversal these two bottoms are basically a double bottom even though they're not perfect so this is basically a double bottom bull flag forming um, a double bottom for the higher low major trend reversal after um, well this is this is that's what it is uh, it's a higher low major trend reversal in the form of a double bottom so there's a second entry we broke out over here uh, pretty good breakout four bull bars and then we have a high two uh, pullback uh, two bar reversal uh, so a reasonable breakout pullback long betting on a channel up <clears throat> again a bull trend and three pushes down and three pushes up as soon as you see three pushes up or down you should think of it as a triangle doesn't matter if it uh, has a great shape or not a great shape functionally it's the same as a triangle um, all triangles are tight trading ranges this one is fairly tight and it's confusing when you're at this point in the um, day you're saying I don't know what's going on this is a a confusing situation. It might break to the downside, it might break to the upside. And there are also many ways to label this. Um, there are many ways to label it to um, you know, try to highlight the existence of a triangle. Uh, you can buy the reversal up at two, you can buy the reversal up above three, uh, looking at three pushes down, one, two, and then this bear bar third push down. So this bull bar is a buy. You could wait for the breakout and buy this bar you can buy above the pullback from the breakout or above this pullback <clears throat> okay so here we have a bull trend a strong bear spike and a triangle and it's confusing three pushes down one two three so it's a triangle and the markets in breakout mode it broke out here you can buy above this bull bar it's a reasonable bull bar pretty good buying pressure maybe we'll test the bull high uh, we have a breakout and then we have this bar for a failed breakout. Traders are going to look at this breakout, these two bull bars, and they're going to weigh it against the strength of this failure. To me, the breakout looks stronger than the signal bar for the failure, so I'm expecting the failure to fail, and I'm expecting the result to be simply a pullback from this breakout and a buy signal. And here we have two sideways bars, a bull inside bar closing near its high, to me, this is simply a pullback from this breakout of the bull, uh, uh, for, for the bull breakout of the triangle. So this is a breakout pullback buy. Market went up, formed a large higher high major trend reversal, sold off and tested back to the apex of the triangle, which is uh, common. Expanding triangle, I talked about them in an, in an earlier module all of them are major trend reversals the second third or fourth leg always breaks the trend line and usually tests the moving average or comes pretty close to the moving average even if the trend line break is not very strong if the signal bar is good and the context makes sense I would trade it like a major trend reversal we have a bull trend a push up a second push up a third push up so you can view this as a major trend reversal even though it has this very strong uh, bull breakout this could be a buy climax um, so I would still treat it as a major trend reversal a higher high major trend reversal if you wanted to you could wait and um, short the lower high major trend reversal second push down either the second push or the uh, either the first push down or the second push down breaks the trend line and below the moving average Here's that same chart, but labeling it in a different way. There are usually multiple ways to label it. This gray line is how I had it labeled on the other chart. You can also label it as one push up, uh, down, three, four, five, and you have a, uh, a higher high uh, major trend reversal, an expanding triangle top, looking for two legs sideways to down. 
remember the original lab labeling was this gray numbering one two three four five another way to label it <clears throat> expanding triangles often grow into larger expanding triangles so instead of five pushes you'll get seven pushes so we can come down here and go up above okay um, all expanding triangles are major trend reversals um, this is um, obviously a major trend reversal bull trend trend line break and higher high major trend reversal but it has a problem the break below the the bull uh, trend line is only two bars. That's usually not enough selling pressure uh, to look to short a major trend reversal. However, if you view this as an expanding triangle, one push up, two pushes up, three pushes up, a low and a lower low, that is enough to erase the lack of bear strength here and make this a reasonable short. So here the lines are drawn and you can better see the expanding triangle. So even though the break below the trend line and the moving average is only a couple of bars, given that it's an expanding triangle, it's a reasonable short. The expanding triangle is more important than the lack of selling pressure on the bear breakout below the trend line. Same chart and expanding triangle tops are usually followed by expanding triangle uh, bull flags. So we had three pushes up, one, two, three, and two pushes down. Uh, so an expanding triangle top and now we have an expanding triangle bull flag and the target is a new high um, we have an iii i pattern four consecutive inside bars this bar is inside that bar this bar is inside that this bar is inside that this bar is inside that uh, breakout mode situation a bull signal bar for the final bar a reasonable buy above for a test above the top of the triangle It's an expanding triangle bottom, right? Um, so it is a um, major trend reversal. Remember, every expanding triangle is a major trend reversal. But you look at it and say, well, where's the trend? I don't see a bear trend. Don't, don't forget that there was a bear trend here. And this entire rally was a breakout above the bear trend. And this expanding triangle uh, bull flag or expanding triangle uh, pullback, whatever you want to call it, uh, is also a higher low major trend reversal. All expanding triangle bottoms are lower low major trend reversals. Three pushes down, one, two, three, does not matter that the line is not perfect. Uh, we broke above the trend line. Uh, usually leg two or leg four will break above the trend line. Here's the trend line and break above the moving average. And then the new low forms the buy signal for the lower low major trend reversal. We have a bull body and um, that makes the likelihood of a successful trade higher. Um, the worse the shape, the less reliable the pattern. The closer the pattern is to an ideal shape, the more likely it will work. The less it resembles the ideal, the less likely it will influence what follows. Bad looking patterns work no better than, pat, uh, than no pattern at all. So you can call this an expanding triangle. Uh, we have five pushes, uh, five pushes, down, up, down, up, down, right? But the distance between five and three is great compared to the distance between one and three. And that usually means that whatever was taking place here has very little influence on what's taking place here. So I would not look at this as an expanding uh, triangle bottom. Okay, bad looking patterns are useless. If we reverse up here, it's not because of this expanding triangle. And that is the end of the module on triangles.